Welcome to the mathematics of my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting uh, double sum. Okay, here we have gamma of n, gamma of m, gamma of x over gamma of n plus n plus x. Okay, first uh, we know the relation between gamma function and beta function. Uh, beta of m n is equal to gamma of m gamma of n over gamma of m plus n so uh, we can rearrange our double sum i'm going to take this is equal to s so we know now here infinite sum 1 to infinity uh, here sum of 1 to infinity now i'm going to write gamma of n gamma of m over gamma of n plus m so uh, we should multiply by gamma of n plus m so here gamma of n plus m times gamma of x over gamma of n plus m plus x now we know this is beta function and this is also beta function so we can write uh, this is equal to uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity sum of m is equal 1 to infinity beta of n m times beta of n plus m comma x okay then uh, we know uh, the beta function the definition of beta function uh, beta of m n is equal to integral from 0 to 1 t to the n minus 1 times 1 minus t to the m minus 1 d t so we can write uh, here instead of beta function now we can represent beta function as a uh, infinite sorry uh, definite integral so we can write this is equal to n is equal 1 to infinity m is equal 1 to infinity integral from 0 to 1 uh, here I am going to take u to the n minus 1, 1 minus u to the m minus 1, then uh, here beta of n plus m comma x, so we can write integral from 0 to 1, v to the n plus m minus 1 uh, times 1 minus v to the x minus 1 d v and here d u okay then um, now we can uh, reverse integral sign and sigma notation so before it i'm going to rearrange this n plus m minus 1 as a uh, n minus 1 plus m minus 1 plus 1 so we know here we we have v to the n minus 1 plus m minus 1 plus 1 okay then uh, we can write integral from 0 to 1 uh, here we have uh, v to the 1 power so v to the 1 power so we have v and here we have 1 minus v to the x minus 1 so we can write uh, v times 1 minus v times x to the minus 1 uh, outside of the sigma notation so here v times 1 minus v to the x minus 1 then integral from 0 to 1 sum of n is equal 1 to infinity now uh, here we have u to the n minus 1 and here we have v to the n minus 1 so we can write u times v to the n minus 1 then m is equal 1 to infinity uh, so m here we have v to the m minus 1 and here we have 1 minus u to the m minus 1 so we have v times 1 minus u raised to the m minus 1 uh, then here uh, du again dv okay uh, now we know uh, this result uh, if you have uh, 1 over 
1 minus x here absolute value of x uh, lower than to 1 we know this is equal to we can represent as an infinite series k is equal 0 to infinity x to the k so uh, we can now use this property so we can write here integral from 0 to 1 v times 1 minus v to the x minus 1 uh, then here integral from 0 to 1 here we have uv raised to the n minus 1 so 1 over 1 minus uv so we can write 1 over 1 minus uv then here we have v times 1 minus u so according to this property uh, we have 1 minus v times 1 minus u du dv okay then uh, we can simplify um, here integral from 0 to 1 v times 1 minus v to the x minus 1 and here integral from uh, 0 to 1 now i am going to write this is uh, 1 minus uv plus 1 minus v times 1 minus u uh, and now if we take uh, common denominator in the numerator we have uh, 1 minus 1 minus v plus v u then here 1 minus v u so v u get cancelled 1 here plus 1 1 2 2 minus v so we should divide by 2 minus v and here 1 so here uh, d u uh, d v okay then um, now we can uh, use uh, the king's rule king's property uh, for this integral uh, here we have two integrals but uh, i mentioned that uh, in one integral sign but uh, actually we have two integrals so here i'm going to use uh, king's rule so we know this is the king's property integral from 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral from 0 to a f of a minus x dx therefore uh, we can write integral from 0 to 1 v times 1 minus v to the x minus 1 over 2 minus v uh, then here uh, if we apply king's property here we know 1 minus v times 1 minus now instead of u 1 minus u so 1 get cancelled and here we have minus v u so minus u v here also 1 over 1 minus u v so we have 2 times integral from 0 to 1 1 over 1 minus u v d u d v let's take uh, this integral uh, as uh, i so uh, now we can evaluate uh, i we know uh, i is equal to uh, integral from 0 to 1 du over 1 minus uv uh, to evaluate this integral uh, we can take a substitution so if we take 1 minus uv is equal to y then uh, differentiate so minus v du is equal to dy uh, and uh, we should change the limit so here uh, integral from now when u approaches to 0 u approaches 0 y approaches to 1 uh, u approaches to 1 y approaches to 1 minus v so 1 minus v then du is equal to minus uh, dy over v so minus dy over v 1 minus uv we know y okay then uh, here we know v is a constant uh, so here v now uh, we can uh, change uh, boundaries uh, when we change the boundary this minus get cancelled so 1 minus v to the uh, 1 dy over y now we know uh, this integral 1 over v times natural log of y from 1 minus v to 
sorry here one so this is equal to uh, we know minus one over v natural log of one minus v okay then mm, we can write here s s is equal to uh, now here we have uh, two times so uh, we can write minus here minus sign so minus two times integral from 0 to 1 v times 1 minus v to the x minus 1 over 2 minus v times j so here 1 over v natural log of 1 minus v d v okay then uh, let us uh, simplify a little bit here uh, we have minus 2 integral from 0 to 1 now we know here this v this v uh, get cancelled uh, so here we have 1 minus v to the x minus 1 natural log of 1 minus v over 2 minus v dv okay then uh, again again we can apply king's property so we can write here um, this is equal to minus 2 times integral from 0 to 1 now instead of v 1 minus v so 1 1 get cancelled minus minus plus so we have v to the x minus 1 and here we have natural log of 1 minus 1 minus v so natural log of v over here 2 minus uh, 1 minus v so 1 plus v uh, d v okay then uh, how to evaluate uh, this integral uh, I think uh, in a previous video uh, I solved this integral as I remember I solved this integral uh, I'll check and uh, if not I'll do it uh, in next video so uh, this is the answer for this integral integral from 0 to 1 v to the x minus 1 over 1 plus v dv is equal to 1 half digamma of 1 plus x over 2 minus digamma of x over 2 sorry okay then mm. now uh, if we differentiate with respect to x if we differentiate with respect to x we have integral from 0 to 1 v to the x minus 1 natural log of uh, v over 1 plus v dv is equal to now uh, in differentiation we should multiply by coefficient of x so 1 half here 1 half so here 1 over 4 1 over 4 uh, derivative of digamma function we know trigamma so trigamma of 1 plus x over 2 minus trigamma of x over 2 okay then um, here we have minus sign and also 2 so i am going to uh, multiply by minus sign and uh, 2 so here we can write minus 2 times integral from 0 to 1 v to the x minus 1 natural log of v over 1 plus v dv is equal to 1 half uh, we got minus sign as a factor so here trigamma of x over 2 minus trigam of 1 plus x over 2 okay then uh, we know this is equal to uh, 1 half trigam of x over 2 minus trigam of 1 plus x over 2 okay this is the answer for this nice double sum if you like this type of videos, please subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.